Welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another Knives Fast Lives Fast. That is right. This is the time where I act like a complete goober and talk to you guys and have some fun after a long day at work uh, that, yeah, I don't even want to talk about. But anyway, leases and garbage and fun stuff. So I see Tim B and Space Ghost. I hope you guys are doing good today. We're just going to be on here for a few because basically we're still remodeling the bathroom. And as soon as I finish dinner, I'm going to jump on probably wiring up a new uh, exhaust fan, um, wiring up a new light, uh, hanging a mirror, things like that. Uh, I'm not going to get those all done tonight probably, but th th things like that. So, and uh, for those of you that have been watching my videos, if you haven't seen them lately, I've kind of revamped my, my desktop here area. I wanted to show this off. Uh, this is just basically a couple of extra pieces of bathroom tile. I only had one here, but today I put the second one up here and it's just making a really good shooting background. Looks way better than what I was using. So there you go. And there's Ren and Stimpy and all those guys back there. Um, and Charlie Brown. So I hope everybody's doing good. Hey, Anasa, what is going on? Gotta adjust that light a little bit. There we go. Um, so I hope everybody's doing good. We'll go through and see what I'm carrying here. Uh, we'll probably talk about, let me get a few other. Whoa, I almost knocked my tripod over. Let's see what else we got up here in the to be reviewed knives. Whoa, that's the only problem with the tile. I've got to figure that out. So I don't want to scratch knives up doing that. Halfway day, yeah, like it's Wednesday, Michael. Come on, halfway through the week. You get it? You get it, Michael? Michael? Michael. Halfway through the week. I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I uh, hope everybody's doing good. First knife in the pocket today is this beauty. I showed this off yesterday. I kind of like the red accent. I'm not a big all red scale guy. But the red accent is kind of cool. I actually wish they had done a red pivot collar or two, but uh, I think it looks pretty cool. This is the Kershaw Iridium in uh, carbon fiber and M390. These are $1.99 at Kershaw's site. Um, yes, halfway to the nut house, exactly. Oh, come on, Kurt. Every knife doesn't have to be huge. Everybody, let's talk Kurt into that medium-sized knives are okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jay Richard, that's good news. Hope you have a good time. Uh, but anyway, so there is uh, this gorgeous uh, Kershaw Iridium. Guys, I'm really loving Weave Carbon Fiber these days, and this came out super nice. It's good in the hand, uh, and this blade shape is one of my favorites. And did you see that? Watch this. I mean, come on. The action on this is is absolutely crazy. Uh, there you go. Sorry to hear that, Kurt. Barbarian, what's up, man? I used your knife and a flashlight. Very cool. That's awesome. I have to check that out, Barbarian Brawny. Good to good to hear that. Uh, so yeah, I mean. You know, the, so this is the third Kershaw Iridium I've had in. Uh, the first one, I think, is it was so long ago. I think it came in from Blue Creek Knives. It was the original aluminum uh, one. And then Kershaw sent me a titanium one, uh, which was awesome. And now this carbon fiber one. So they're really kind of doubling down. And I'll tell you, this has the best action of the three. Uh, the, the action of the first, the aluminum one was really good. The titanium one was a little stiff and this one is pretty fantastic. Now lefty was telling me he's got some up and down blade play on the one they sent him, which they, by the way, Tim, they sent him the, um, uh, J Richard Kershaw's website. It's apparently an exclusive in my unboxing. I, I thought they were at blade binge and maybe they are. Uh, but I, I only am seeing them now on Kershaw's website, unless I'm just not looking right anymore. Um, oh, that sounds cool, Michael. Um, Red Hill Cutlery? Yeah, I have. I've, oh, Michael, have you seen it? Yeah. So, um, what was I saying? 
Um, Kevin says his, his, he's got the topographical aluminum uh, with the 14C blade, which is the one that's uh, on deal right now, sale. His has a lot of up and down blade play. This has the ever so minuscule amount, but you can see the lock is not going to fail. It's not a problem. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting. So there's, I think they're sending Kevin another one because um, that's kind of an interesting uh, issue there. Hey, Joseph S., what's going on? Second knife in the pocket today is the TNB. TNB from CMB. CMB, TNB. Basically, it's just a bunch of acronym letters. <laughs> CMB made knives. And uh, this is the TNB designed uh, by Hydra Design. I kind of think the termination of the blade is a little... I don't know. I, I'm, I haven't decided if I like it or don't. But you can see it terminates and it's going back up here. Instead of a hard cut, uh, it kind of is going back up. So if you keep sharpening that, it feels like it'll keep going up into that sharpening choil. I don't know. It just feels interesting. So, um, but, but a really good looking knife. Very fidgety. Uh, decent looking. It is quite the chunk. So if we put the, uh, here's this one. This is the TNB. Now look at the thing. <laughs> look at the iridium. Uh, yeah, it's quite the thick, chunky guy. Now the blade isn't, but the handle. I mean, it's almost as thick as the um, the Riot, uh, PLXT, uh, which I think is very interesting. And you can see that button sticks up quite a bit. So this is one. I mean, I like it, but I don't love it. There's there's some things about it. Oh, very nice, uh, Jay Richard. Hey, BF v v VGNR. I don't know if that's just letters or supposed to spell something. So, <laughs> oh, well, is it up now, your internet? I hope so. Looks like you're here. Hey, Jim Miller, channel member, moderator. Lots of those in here. Lots of channel members, not moderators. Uh, but yeah, it's chunky. It's square. It's chunky. I don't know. Uh, Oh, very cool. 14-foot blade. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, it's another interesting one. It's just a little smaller lengthwise and a little thicker uh, for me. As a matter of fact, let's just see. I bet you this guy is thicker than the Ontario Rat one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. It is. So, it's a pretty thick. Did you guys see that? I didn't hold it up long enough. It is a thick, thick guy, and it is very flat scales uh, and very square-ish. Case Barla 6.5, Bone Stag 71.99. Very cool. Hey, Fook, what's up? But uh, So that's the second Kniff in the pocket today. Third. You know what? I might go ahead and show some of the other stuff in my pocket today just because I never do that. But the third knife in the pocket today is the only Jack Wolf I, beside, well, okay, one of two Jack Wolfs I really have to use the nail nick. And that's the the um, Vampire Jack Blacked Out DLC. Uh, really cool looking knife. But again, on this one, that's my only issue is on the Vampire. I, I cannot pinch it open. Same thing with the Pioneer Jack. Day cap. Well, if you think they're too thin, then you might like that one. Uh, this is the CMB TNP, and it is very thick. Hello, Veronica. Hello, hello. Yeah, um, can't, guys, English in the chat, please. Just can't read um, that stuff, but it's okay. But uh, very, very cool uh, on that. Now, the... Um, uh, the, yeah, the, the Pioneer is the other one I can't pinch, but action wise, very good. Uh, thick and pokey. Yeah. B, B, BF. I would say that is a pretty good, uh, description of that knife. No, really? Michael, is that right? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Kep, that's fine. I just don't know how to read Russian. I knew you weren't saying. I've seen you enough on here to knew you weren't weren't saying anything bad. I just didn't know what you were saying. Hey, Aries, what's up? Yeah, Kep Kep's been here a lot, and I think Veronica's Veronica has been here quite a bit either. There you go. There you go. Tim, awesome. Tim's always hooking folks up. Uh, if you guys need help finding a specific knife, get with Tim. He will take care of you uh, and make sure uh, he, you know, gives you a link if he knows anything. Lacey knows how to read Russian. Wow. Okay. What's a single blade, Michael? The one you're looking for? The case? Hello, Explorer. Welcome. I truly, what are you truly? I don't know if I want to know. We'll find out. All right. So those are the three knives in my pocket today. Feel free to leave down below a knife or knives you're carrying. Now, the other stuff I'm carrying today, just because I never show the rest of it, uh, the pin I carry almost every day is the tactile uh, turn uh, bolt action titanium pin with the round uh, milling. Can't really see it on camera, but trust me, it's got circular milling up and down it. Uh, great size pin for me. Good pin. Really love using this guy. Every day but Monday, pretty much, I carry that pin because I don't have a blue one. Someday I want to get a blue one. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Kurt. So, uh, other, the flashlight in the pocket today is, we'll look at the Hank and the uh, multi-tool as well, but we'll just go through everything. What the heck? Uh, this is the Olight uh, Baton 4, um, and that is my light today in the pocket. Great size. Now, I saw um, any of you Olight guys out there, maybe you can help me out. I saw they just released a blue one of these. If I have already have a baton for, it doesn't matter which one, right? If I already have the case, uh, the charging case, I can just put, like if I get another baton for, I can put it in the same charging case, right? I think so. Buck Langford and Amora Companion, very cool for Kurt. Oh, very cool, Michael. But uh, yeah, that's my flashlight today. I love this one. Great on the hat. I use it all the time. I used it last night while painting. Uh, perfect, perfect uh, to be able to see. Great one, great one. There you go, Kurt. Very good. Um, the Hank in the pocket today is the Lone Star Hank's uh, Teal Topo Hank. I love this guy. Uh, very nice, small Micro Hank from Lone Star Hanks. Check them out. Uh, very, very cool. Oh, don't do that. And then the multi-tool today, uh, PM2 Micarta S90V CME and MXG. Very cool for Michael Morgan. This is the uh, Leatherman Micra in blue with the Knives Fast customization there. Uh, this is almost in the pocket every day. They're... Every once in a while, there might be something different like a SD Classic or maybe my silver uh, one of these. Uh, but the blue one is my favorite. Goodness gracious. So that's everything. Um, well, I mean, besides my, my keys and my wallet, uh, everything in my pocket today. Warn Tack, Finch Hellfire, Inferno. And Aries Sea Snake for Jim. Very cool. Uh, New Breed EDC Clydesdale and the Tidious from Kubi in Titanium for uh, Rene Ramon. Now, Jim, you said Hellfire, a different Hellfire. This is the Tuya Hellfire. Uh, we got Hellfire being rained upon us from two different companies, Finch and now Tuya. This is the Hellfire Mini from Jim Skelton. Really interesting knife. Flat, uh, excuse me, combo dual flat grind, uh, which is really cool looking. Uh, very big, pointy, kind of pointy tip, but cut off here. Cleaver. Oh my goodness gracious. Skeleton designs just don't speak to me. 
I get you. The Kaladin is is pretty awesome. And um, what was the other one? There was a couple of his I like and a couple of his that still haven't resonated with me. And this is kind of not there for me either. But it's, I mean, Tuya just kills it. This thing, I mean, come on. The detent is perfect. The action is absolutely perfect. Uh, just, yeah, just a different knife. But it is a slicer, I will tell you that. Oh, you're good. Go for it, Kurt. Go for it. No complaints here. <laughs> heaven fire. I can make a heaven fire. That's fine. But uh, yeah, and I said this thing is very slicey, and we'll just we'll just show that. Um, yeah, it's very yeah. You can see extremely slicey. Very long cuts. I mean, it just, because the belly is gradual, we can get these really nice long, look at that, uh, cuts. Very cool. I, I'm digging it, actually. Uh, there are some, I don't know if issues is the right word. Things I don't, look, look at these cuts. Uh, I don't know if issues is the right word or just things I don't like very well. Um, thinking about buying a Leatherman closer to summer. Yeah, absolutely. I love my Leatherman way very much. I really do like your knives. Outstanding engineer, engineering, a lot of knives uh, we are not allowed to own, so I like watching U.S. content. Very cool, Explorer. Um, what is your oldest? Who is that? Why, 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 Wyatt, Wyatt boy? I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, whoever you are, my oldest knife. Um yeah, I don't know if I can get to that right now. It would be my... I can't get to it right now. It would be my Cub Scout knife uh, from 1977, 8, somewhere in there. Uh, it's an Ulster uh, Boy Scout knife. Um, I cannot get to it right now. Sorry about that, but that's my oldest. Yeah, we have some ladies in the room from time to time, for sure. Kathleen and sometimes Betty and uh, Mrs. C and yeah, we've we've definitely got that covered around the channel. So really cool. <laughs> what? Wah 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 wah. Okay, I have no idea what you're saying, Lefty, but good to have you here. My oldest man, my oldest knife is a manual opening. Still five inch blade. I bought at a pawn shop in 1977. Everybody says hello. Y you heard me, an asso. Good lord. Just because you guys are all young doesn't mean there's not some oldies. Oh, uh, well, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Billy Madison. Sorry. I don't. I told you guys, I've said this a million times. Movie references are always going to be lost on me. Music, usually not, but, but, uh, well, music before. 2000. Uh, I kind of just, I listen to a lot of dream theater now, but newer music sucks. Uh, my oldest is over 60 years old. Very cool, Jim. That knife is as old as me. All right, guys, you're all fired. Get out of here. Stop telling me this. Got a 1960 Richard Sheffield and a 60 or 70 Camillus. Nice. I actually, okay, Michael, if we're doing that, I have my dad had a, um, now it wasn't his from World War II, but he, he bought it in like the 60s, I think he said. It's a bayonet style knife from, um, World War II bayonet style knife from Camillus. Uh, it's back on my workbench and it is beat up. Beat up. Um, I was in the Boy Scouts. I was in the Boy, what are you talking about? I was in the Cub, the Cub Scouts and Weeblos, and I, no, I, okay, so I wasn't in, thank you, Kevin, I wasn't in the Boy Scouts, I was in the Boy Scout system, I was in Cub Scouts and Weeblos. Yep. You guys are nuts! Happy hump day to Kevin, uh, crazy person, um, who sends me knives. We were just talking about the, um... The Hellfire here, Kevin, did some cutting with it on camera uh, here a minute ago. Cuts really, really well. I'm very impressed with the grind. Not really impressed with the detent. It is very late. Very late. I am not 
cool with that. Um, yeah. Very late on the detent, um, which is kind of surprising for two you for me. And I'm also not impressed with the flipper tab because the way it sets up for me, uh, I keep butting into this raised backspacer. Um, now, if I kind of really concentrate, but there's no jimping there. There's this, there's just this push button jimping that sort of works, but not really. I want to flick it. And if I flick it, I run into that. So I think they want you to push button it. And it does work. It's just not for me. Um, but but this is amazing. Middle finger flick on this knife is great. Uh, I haven't seen um an ass, so I haven't seen any updates on the uh on the airstream, if you will. Uh Colin's working on it. Give him some time, it'll be there. You just got here. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, a Hellraiser. Very cool. No, you're not fired. Uh, I was in Cub Scouts, Weeblos, Boy Scouts for a couple of years. And I learned. <laughs> okay. Camp knife is essentially a full-size scout knife. No. Uh, yeah, we're, maybe it is over here. Give me a second. Let me see if I can find it. I don't think, is it in? Is it in this case? It might be in this case. If it is, that'll be, okay, here it is. So it's this guy, Michael. Uh, it's Ulster. Uh, it is roached. I literally gutted hundreds of fish with this knife. Um, it is crusty when you try to open it. Yeah, very crusty. Um, it has, I'm not even going to try to open the, the can opener, bottle opener. Um, and what is that? That was the uh, punch uh, there. Uh, but the main blade, I mean, it still opens and it's still sharp. I'm curious. Where's my cardboard? You guys ready? Let's see if this thing will cut. Not really. Somewhat. Not well. Uh, it does have an edge. It's just not a very good edge. Yeah. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, I love this knife too much. It just stays in the case. It, my dad bought it for me. And it's a very good memory of my dad. Oops, I'm throwing cardboard in the wrong place. Okay. Um, very good memory of my dad, so I don't want to roach it up. Uh, but that is it. That is it. What'd you say, Michael? What'd I miss? Okay, gotcha. <laughs> New knife from Rosecraft, the old timer. What? Do they have that? Do they have one? Or are you just making fun of me again? Um, old and crusty, uh, Jim. Yeah. And if I sent this to Tom from Knife Delights, I bet he could make it great. Uh, but I'm just afraid. I'm scared. As a matter of fact, if you look at this, can anybody see this? There's actually a warp to the handle. Uh, and so, yeah, it's just got a little bit of a warpy thing going on. Uh, the back spring is kind of a mess. Yeah, I'm just scared it's going to not be reparable if, if I try to do anything with it. So I've just left it alone. It's a great memory of my dad. I don't, I don't have to use it uh, to remember. Um, I think these are plastic scale covers here, um, which would go along with my dad's purchasing. Usually he got the cheapest thing he could get and just sharpened it until it wouldn't sharpen anymore. Oh, okay, good. Good, Kevin. My brother ragged my Cub Scout knife and broke the blade. Oh, no. That's not good. So that's the oldest knife. Liver and onions. Hello. Any rim? No. Not my thing. I mean, the closest thing, liver and onions, to, I guess you would say, a Rambo knife isn't really a Rambo knife, uh, but it's definitely got that long buoy thing going on. Uh, we have a um, K-Bar here. This is the U.S. Space Force version, USSF. Um, that's the closest thing I've got to a Rambo knife. Uh, and it's not really close because it doesn't have all the jaggedy stuff on the back of it. Uh, it's just just a knife. Um, so, yep, yep, yep. That's That would be the closest thing. Uh, probably, Michael, you're probably right. 
that's because you know more than me, and I wasn't even thinking until you said that. But that's that's the biggest knife I have as far as a fixed blade. Um, that one there. Man, I said I was only going to go 15 or 20 minutes, and I'm at 25 minutes. Look at that. Now, I, I only own one cold steel knife. Uh, I just, they're not for me. It's just not, I've not found a cold steel knife that really fit what I like. Um, so I, I have one that my son gave me. Um, this is the cold steel medium lose on. And I like this one pretty well. Um, not, not bad. It's, it's got a kind of a cool vibe to it. Um, my, my biggest complaint about this knife is, um, how easily you can tap that blade, uh, at the back. Uh, you definitely can tap the tip, uh, and get nicked up pretty crazy on this one, but it's a pretty good knife. Hey, Ron, I have not tried the mayhem. Looks so look again. I, I, I can say I like the mayhem, but I would never carry the mayhem. Isn't the mayhem like humongous? That's what I'm saying. Most of Cold Steel's knives aren't practical. Um, the Engage is practical, but it's chunky and the action's not good. And uh, the AD-10, I like it, uh, but I would never carry it. It's just chunky. Um, this has just not been anything from Cold Steel that I've really liked. I had a Finn Wolf for a little while, and I, and I sold it. Um... Just just hasn't been for me. Yeah, there are only eight thumbs up in here, and I'm getting ready to wrap up, and there's 100 people in here. Click off and go hit the thumbs up and come right back. That's that's how you do it. So please hit that thumbs up. It helps the channel for sure. Um, and then I had two more knives sitting here to show that I haven't shown yet. So i just like to, to go ahead and review the ones, uh, show the ones that are sitting here waiting for review. This is... Uh, the uh, concept Loki, um, again, really liking it. A uh, couple of weird things, but uh, other than that, the the funny thing is, as ugly as the hole is, it's a great hole. It really works. It really, really works. Really, I didn't know the ax the uh, axis the um not the axis lock the uh what what is it atlas lock on that one was unsafe. I had no idea. Uh, yeah, a little thick on the blade stock, and it's also very square on the blade stock right here. It is not rounded off in any way. Um, I don't like. I've mentioned I don't like how this comes down. The tip can easily if you don't get up high enough. Uh, if you're down here, the tip will come down on your thumb. Um, it, it, thankfully, I've got my thumb up there higher every time. And then the hole's just ugly. It's just ugly. But it works. And it's asymmetrical, which drives me nuts. It's like, at least have it even. This side comes down further than this side. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's the, the OCD side of me hates that. I don't get it. A hot dog hole. Yeah, it wor it, it works incredibly well. It's ugly, but it works. And I guess you can't have it both ways. You know, it works. Uh, and the other one, of course, waiting on review. Uh, I've shown this enough times. You guys are probably sick of it. But this is uh, the Holt uh, Morpheus. I was going to review it today, but work kicked my tail, so I didn't get it done. Um, I'll do it in the next few days. Yeah, I mean, you could strike fire steels with it, no doubt in the world. I mean, it is so square. It's almost like they meant to do that because when I see concepts are always very finished, this is very square on the spine, very square. Yep. Oh, okay, I gotcha. <laughs> Kevin's like, what hold? This beauty. Look at that color, Kevin. Dang, man. Just such a great knife. Um, I got a lot of... Uh-oh, uh I'll have to call... I'll have to get off here and make a phone call in just a second. But um, I got a lot of chirping from folks that I cut a sandwich with it. I'm like, I'm going to cut more than just sandwiches with it. Um, 
So it is what it is. All right, I got to go. Got an important phone call waiting, so I've got to make that back. So definitely hit that thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. There are other live streams tonight, Madness Faction, and I think some others. Check KnifeTubeSchedule.com. Thanks, Kevin. Smart Alec. Guys, I really appreciate you all being here. And uh, thank you guys for being such good friends and awesome folks. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. See you guys. Bye. Later.